welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome please subscribe to my channel and if you are already my subscriber thank you so much for all the love and support so today we are going to paint this beautiful uh, landscape which is a mini postcard in watercolors so let's begin so here I have already uh, taped the paper to the table and I'm drawing a light sketch of the painting I'm going to paint. I have my color palette, two jars of water and a paper towel. I have two brushes, number three and number five, round brushes and my cotton cloth. So here you can also draw if you want. Uh, but draw very lightly because we don't want the pencil marks later on in the painting so that's it it's a very simple painting we can avoid drawing also if we want to we can directly go on the paper with the paint and do this but uh, just for the composition i am drawing it all right so i have this uh, tree branch some mirage looking water and some sand dunes they are not exactly going to be sand dunes they are hill or mountain only in the summer so it's a summer painting and here i will make the paper wet with my quill mop brush number zero you can do this with a flat brush also so I'm giving it a cross patch so that the paper is evenly wet and doesn't dry so quickly. And once I'm done, I will start with the vermilion hue. I've got a light wash of vermilion hue. It gives a peachy effect. So I'm using Camelin uh, watercolor. And in Camlin, I get this vermilion hue. I'm using my 3x8 uh, flat brush by Princeton. You can use any brush you have. So here, as you see, this color itself gives the feel of warmth doesn't it now some more vermilion hue i'm using camlin uh, tube watercolors and i really find the quality very nice they are affordable and they are decent to work with so if you are a beginner i would suggest you can also use camlin it's it's very good uh, you don't have to invest like so much money in the paint but what I will highly and strongly recommend is use a good quality paper very good quality 100% cotton paper because that is what really matters with watercolors so here with the help of water I am just smoothening the harsh edges and I am spreading a light gradient of color and I'm spreading it as you see with the help of my flat brush so here's the yellow it's Indian yellow you can use any yellow depending on the brand you're using it's a very bright sunny yellow I really like this color so I'm blending it with vermilion vermilion hue and i have to make sure that i don't get any sharp edges so i will time to time keep smoothening it with the help of a damp clean brush and here i am using hot pressed water uh, paper watercolor paper so the effect is a little different and i'm using hot pressed paper for the first time before this, I have always used the cold pressed. So I am also finding it a little tricky to work with. That's a visitor on my window, the crow. <laughs> and now as you see, the painting is 
completely dried and at this stage we'll make some detailings I've changed the brush to my fi number 5 round brush and there we go making some some low bumps on the ground give it a hilly rocky feel just like that I don't know whether you can see the drawing beneath the color or not I can see that so I am roughly following that and making these details it's a it's kind of a monochromatic uh, painting so I am sticking to the same colors just increasing the values taking darker values now for the foreground and lighter values for the background so as you see I really like this color it's very warm and lively very bright just my color <laughs> so I like creating these mini postcards reason being they are very quick you don't spend so much time and they are very cute if you want to watch more of the process videos of my postcards watercolor postcards you can find them on Skillshare so here I'm making the water you must be wondering why the water is yellow so it's because the sky is yellow and water has no color it's only the reflection of the surroundings that gives the color to the water so here is the water darker lines to make some waves which have come ashore yeah so it's it's kind of a very hot summer beach picture <laughs> I'm trying to achieve let's see how it goes so I'm making these lines while the paint is still wet so that it becomes a little whimsical little you know blurry not very sharp and now these outer lines I want to be sharp so they are sharp and dark all right so that line i drew previously became really really light so i'm just building up the color on it and there darker curves because the water here in the foreground is really dark and it's kind of orange really dark orange completely reflecting the sky and the surroundings yeah so there you go now making some impressions of curves while the paint is still wet and now I'm taking darker tone of the yellow to make some waves so this is quinacridone yellow I have taken here and I am just making some waves 
in the water to make it look like water otherwise it was looking like sand or or mirage or something some more waves towards the shore and i will also add a few rocks at the beach so i'll just go ahead and darken all the lines like that so there's no particular rule about painting it's how you enjoy it so every now and then just stop and step back and look at the painting and then work on it further however way you like it and about the color palette or why the water is red and why the sky is orange doesn't matter it's your imagination it's your painting you are the master of this world so you can make it whatever color you want to all right that's the that's the mantra i follow so whatever looks good to me i paint that so i really wanted to paint this uh, hot summer themed postcard so i chose this col these colors you are free to choose any color you like you can make it a sunset with the with the shades like purple and pink or you can make it a bright day a morning with colors like blue and you know the sand color and everything so it's it's completely up to you i'm just trying to give you an idea of how we can achieve uh, an art piece with very little efforts and very you know relaxed way and all of that so i'm just trying to give you an idea choosing the colors is totally up to you especially in the times we are facing with this pandemic we are all locked at home we need something to just you know loosen ourselves to to get rid of the stress and anxiety and fear we have in our heads and art is the best thing for the for for such problems it really heals you it really gets you relaxed and it really does wonders so if we can help ourselves or others with art why not so i'll keep sharing such videos uh, regularly because i want to tell all of you that don't feel alone we are all together in this and this too shall pass so here i am making the foreground uh, hill a little darker because i think it's kind of merging with the with the beach and the water and the background hill also so i'm just making it darker the paint on it has completely dried so i'm just without my scrubbing making a dark wash on top of it and as i told you i am now making some rocks here and there at the beach so we are mostly done i will just add some grass blades and some bushes in the corner of the painting and we'll add some birds and that's it we'll be done so in no time just by talking with you guys we are done see here i am adding a broken bamboo stump and few grass blades around it so it's like very light flicks of brush with the tip of the brush i am not pressing the brush on the paper too much i'm just using the tip of my brush and starting way down starting from the masking tape itself i'm taking it up right so 
some more detailing and then we are almost done i am kind of liking this let me know how you like it now let's add some birds and adding birds is very easy but it's really it really makes uh, the painting more beautiful it adds a lot of value so using the dark brown i am making some birds in different directions but together like you and me <laughs> we are all uh, we are all uh, at different places but we are somehow together in this situation so yeah pretty much that's it okay i'll make this a little more dark because this is also kind of merging i'm not able to see this and a tiny hill at the very front of the hilly uh, rocky range <laughs> whatever you call it yeah, some more and that's it that's it that's it that's it i put my brush down nothing else now it's time to remove the tape so always remove the tape at an angle like this and slowly so that you prevent tearing the paper and this this is the most gratifying step i really love it 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 looks like magic to me what do you think <laughs> see the painting wasn't looking that great when the tape was there and the moment i removed the tape see okay my table is kind of messy but see this here's your beautiful watercolor hot summer postcard ready hope you liked it so uh, my classes are there on skillshare and if you're already on skillshare please find me there if you're not on skillshare i can give you two months of free membership where you can access all premium classes for free and you can cancel the subscription whenever you want you don't have to pay for two months all right so the link is in the description so please check it out skillshare is a very good and very helpful platform for all the creatives it has tons of great classes by great creatives all right so do check that uh, click the link in the description and you can have access to all premium classes for two months for free <laughs> all right so see you next time in my next class till then stay happy stay blessed and keep creating